Welcome to the White Chocolate Source channel. In this video, I am going to install some applications that I use on my laptop when it is still on Windows 11. As we all know, not all Windows applications can work or compatible with Linux. So here we will also find or search some Linux alternatives for Windows applications. Let's start. Let's start with installing Google Chrome browser. The setup goes just like Windows, where we download then run the setup to install, but this can also be installed using the terminal. Next, I will install OneNote since I heavily use it on all of my devices, even at work. So here Ubuntu has OneNote on their Snap Store. So let's just follow the commands here. The OneNote desktop interface is basically the web version of OneNote that is just placed on an app. But as long as we can sync the data and see the updates here, I am okay with it. Next, let us install VLC Media Player. So let's just install it via the terminal. Oops, it should be lowercase. Next is Dropbox. I also use this for syncing my go-to files that can be open on different devices. It's kind of the same usage as I do with OneNote. Okay, let's also install Zoom for meetings.
Next is Netflix, as I also use it a lot on this laptop. On the Ubuntu App Store, they have an app called Netflix Web. The reviews are very low, but let's try. Okay, after we log in, let's try to play any movie. And yes, it has an error. So I have checked the Google Chrome settings and it is correct and the Netflix app is still doesn't work. So for this one, I will just use the browser if I need to watch Netflix. Also the app version is a bit laggy. Next is Elisa, this is a music player and yeah, it's uh, nothing special. Next is Shotwell. This is a better photo viewer. It's similar to Windows Photos where you can also crop or do minimal changes on the picture. Next, I will install GIMP. This will be an alternative for Photoshop. First, we need to install Flatpak. This is a utility for software deployment, which is similar to Snap. So we will just follow the installation guide provided on the website. Once we are done with the install, we can now run GIMP from Flatpak. Next is Ocular. This is a document viewer. Since I like to read ebooks, I have installed Ocular as it supports PDF or EPUB format.
Okay, let's test with PDF. It is pretty similar to Foxit Reader. Now let's test with EPUB file. Yes, it's also working. Last but not the least, for Linux, you can use gedit as an alternative for Notepad. And also the LibreOffice are also the alternative for Microsoft Office. So here I have placed some test files for Word, Excel, or PowerPoint and place it on my Dropbox. It can be open and also can update. And I can see the update also on my Windows PC. So this is good. For DaVinci Resolve, I have tried to install it, but it is having an issue with the playback. It cannot play back the videos or photos, so I will try to fix it or make it work. If it's possible, I will make another video on this. Okay, and that's it for this video. I have installed some basic applications for my daily use. So far, I am enjoying using it. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next one. Goodbye.